Hello, in this video I will show you how to flash a brand new Debian image into the BeagleBone and this is useful when starting the lab at the beginning of the semester or before starting your final project. This is just to ensure that you have all the libraries installed and that you can run every L1 and L2 program that we have available for you. Remember to make copies of the most important files that you have already written or modified because once you flash the Debian image, everything will be erased. First, we'll go to Google Chrome and then type uh, Debian BeagleBone and the first matchup will take you to the BeagleBone website where you can download the four gigabyte SD IoT image. And then what that's download, we're gonna flash it into our SD card using Belena Etcher. So we select the image and then select the SD card that we wanna flash and then hit flash. And this should take around 10 minutes. I think it depends on the computer that you, you have. Once the flashing is done, you'll remove the SD card from the computer and then put it into the SD slot on the BeagleBone Blue. And remember that once you put a new SD card on the BeagleBone, you have to hold the SD button on the side and then plug the power in. So once you wait for like three minutes until the BeagleBone is online, connect to it on your computer um, it won't, it's going to ask you for the password again, since it's a, a, a brand new device. And then you'll hit, uh, you, you put the BeagleBone password, capital B's. And after connecting, you go to the Google Chrome uh, browser and type uh, 192.168.8.1, column 3000. And this is the IPM port for Cloud9 in or BeagleBone. In here, the first step is cleaning up the screen, making sure um, we don't have things that are on our, in our way. And the first step will be making a directory called installers. I already have it, so it's telling me it's already there. And now I'm gonna check my internet connection. So I'm gonna connect to my home internet by using the command ctl program. So you'll, you'll pick that number over there that with regards to your network and type agent on and then connect and then paste the address that you found and then you can exit out of there. So now, now you have internet. We're going to GitHub. We have the self-installer part one. You know, you, we use the wget program to download this is script into the installers folder. And then the other one is check install. And these are bash scripts, okay? So now wget, paste that. And now I'm able to see both of them. So the first script we're gonna run is the self installer part one by typing sudo bash and the name of the file. The expected behavior is this. Uh, and then it will reboot reboot at the end of the, the process. So it will disconnect you from your internet. So now you wait for a little bit uh, before the BeagleBone comes back and 
to the network, the network uh, you connect to it and go back to cloud nine <clears throat> so the first step once you're back is checking that you still have internet access by you can ping google to do that and once you have verified then go into the installer folder and run sudo bash uh, check install um, that sh So this will begin a very low, very lengthy installation that it will take around two hours or more. It takes up to four hours actually. And the plan is just to leave the big bone running in the background. Um, I want to speed it up a lot just to show you what the behavior. And you will notice that at some point. My installation kept stopping, so I didn't see anything going on in the screen. Uh, and also, if you're able to see a little uh, flash rotating around, uh, and that's just for us to see if there is an installation going on. Um, in my case, it got stuck around about halfway through, so I put Rocket here. The last program that it installs is uh, OpenCV and the AJPG streamer, which actually we used in the last lab, lab eight. So in case you were wondering, and then we go on and install some um, extra packages that you may never use, but they're there for everything, such as MQTT server and the Pygame library that we, we use a lot to interact with our gamepad. So once it's done, it's gonna reboot. We'll wait for it to come back. We we'll connect to it again. And then we just wanna verify that we have everything installed. And we go, but uh, to do that, we can go to Cloud9 and go to the terminal and open a Python shell, type in Python 3 and hitting enter in the terminal. And then we can type import CV2 and that will uh, import OpenCV. And if it didn't give you an error, that means everything is installed and you can move on.